Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. We've just spoken with Silas here. They're the ones who got us out of jail. And they're going to help us while we help them. So they've sent off his cat beetle to some place to find information on where Mara, our wife, is. And we're going to help them by trying to find some priceless artifact or something in abandoned catacombs beneath us. But before we can go to the abandoned catacombs, we need to get a full set of guard armor. And we need to get um, a venom antidote for the spiders that are down there. So it's going to be quite a while till we go down there, because we got a bunch of stuff to do. The gear is all over the place. Uh, we need to go to the Apothecaris to get the Venom thing in there in the sewers, and we got to, like, become their new um, assistant, I think, by stealing the papers from the Ramparts guard somewhere, and then we got all this other stuff. Oh, yeah, the Blacksmith's Hammer. Got to speak to the two mouse thieves who are somewhere. Got a bunch of beetles to find. So basically, we have a million things to do. Rather than focus on anything in particular, I think I'm just going to explore around, and I'm sure we'll find things to do, and ways to complete the quests as we go around. Oh, I also ramped up the brightness all the way to max, so that hopefully this nighttime looks a little bit better on YouTube and isn't too dark. So hopefully that's that's better. Uh, we came from this way, right? Yeah. Alright, so let's see what's up here. Such a tiny mouse in such a big world. Oh, almost looks like I can grab that. But I can't. Ooh. Secrets? Can this lead me somewhere? I don't think so. Nah, not really. Okay, there's supposed to be a lift somewhere near the scat beetles. Like, is it a shortcut? I think it's this. They use it to get their food up and down. Yeah, so we can use this to go down to the courtyard real fast. Let's go. Oh, here's somebody close. I think they're above us, though. So where are we exactly? Bottom left. Okay. So I haven't been here before. Looks like a little uh, farming patch. Bunch of carrots. I still can't believe how much food I have. And I don't really seem to need it very much at all. I think Silas is gonna starve for a while. <laughs> Just took out the entire garden. Beehives. Uh, probably shouldn't touch him. It's been abandoned. Empty. Been abandoned. Pumpkin. I can take the pumpkin hat? And that's not part of, uh... It's not part of a... What's it called? Uh, disguise? Helmet made out of ripe pumpkin. Yep, that's a pumpkin helmet. <laughs> If you look at its stats compared to what I'm currently wearing, uh, if you look... I guess there's no way to have it selected endpoint at the same time, but if you look down here to all these statistics, the red is what's going to get worse compared to my current equipment. So everything is going to get worse. It's terrible. But I'm going to wear it anyway. <laughs> oh my god! It's got little holes for the ears! Ooh, let's, uh, let's get a lantern. Yeah, spooky. Do you think I can just scare the crap out of the guards? Oh no, the lantern's empty. Dang it. Alright, let's put this on. You're in your own minstrel garb again. Is it becoming day? Because I slept until midnight, but this kind of looks like it's turning day to me. I must be open from the other side. Oh, hello.
In waves the wind rolled through the field below to break against the farmhouse walls in bursts of amber. And above there she was, laughing, cheeks stuffed to bursting with great handfuls of seeds, taking more and scattering them to the ground, to you, her love. Mara, in the dying light of the harvest sun, Mara, whose name means sunflower. Let's go ahead and save it real fast. Oh, it's definitely turning today. Oh. Ooh, that was close. Well, okay, if it's going to turn today so fast, then I guess there's not much harm in putting the brightness back down. Maybe not all the way down to where it was, but maybe like that. Oh, right. I've been here before, haven't I? I think I have. Haven't burned this, though. <laughs> oh, crabs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've been here. Oh, yeah. That one full of sticks. That's right, I threw the pot of, like, sticky, weird stuff at the uh, guard over there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, that was close. That was also really close. I think I'm going to have to throw some goo at them, too. I don't see any way past them. Oh, Christ. It's not, it's not equipped. Uh-oh. Wait, what? They got confused for a second. I don't know what just happened. It looks like you maybe can't throw that stuff when you're in combat. Seems like you couldn't. Well, let's eat some of our vast sums of food. I've only got one of these left. Could also just throw a distraction. Hmm. That probably would be better. Yeah. Hope they don't turn around too fast, though. Go over there. Locked. Oh. Oh. Whew. Good thing they couldn't see me when I jumped in here. Oh, they're already going back. <laughs> they forgot real fast. Yes, we can refill. I wish it was faster to refill. Do 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 do. little anti-fascist mouse going around burning the flags. It's so satisfying for some reason. Hmm. There's a ladder that goes down there. Is there... Oh, there's a little... little, uh, place to walk there. Maybe goodies. Let's burn this flag first, though.
Ooh, tiny little strong box. You need a you need the strong box key. Hmm. I'm intrigued. I love the pitter patter of their feet. What's this? Oh, I guess just allows me to step on it outside. So I could probably use that to reach something. Maybe to reach up there. Let's go. Just gotta be really careful. There's a beetle on the roof over there. Oh! Oh, oh, that's one of the scat beetles, right? If I got it, though, would there be any way back up other than just going all the way around? Um... Well, it doesn't matter. We made the problem. We're gonna fix it. Hey, little buddy. Flies back to Silas. One out of seven. Nice. Yeah, can I climb the vines or something? Almost looks like the vines should be climbable. Maybe if I mash enough, I can... Oh, whoa! <laughs> okay, sweet. Oh! No! Did I just die? Oh, thank God. thought I was dead. Let's try that again. and a stick. Harvest's end. For the first time in an age, Master Lulin sang, his voice bright and clear. And you knew, then, the time had come to travel south with the winter at your tail, to leave the valley, the village, and Mara. Mara, you longed for her to join you on the road, but you knew it was impossible for her brothers were too young to work the fields, and her father was too frail. She was duty-bound to them, as you were to your master. I wonder if that stick is a hint at something. Like, maybe there's something I can throw it at? Hmm, doesn't seem like it. Sometimes a stick is just a stick. Okay, so that's all there seems to be this way. Anything on the map around this area? Nope, nothing in particular. Okay. Let's explore somewhere else. I love the bitter better so much. So yeah, this just leads back to the main courtyard, so really easy to get here. Hmm. So I've been up behind that rat. I, however, have not been this way. Not really. I kept getting caught. I ended up running up to the left, which took me actually back out here. Actually, let's go in that direction. I think from here we can get back up. It's probably safer to come in this direction. Because I know there's two guards pretty much always staring at you when you come in through the doors. So that's not the way we want to go. This way is where we want to go. But the rat comes back here. Oh! So 
So we'll come in behind it when it starts to go back. Ooh. Escape beetle. Yeah, just jump off over here. Nice. So where are we now? Up on the north. Okay. Oh. Nope. Doesn't look like they can open the door. So closing it seems to work. What are these things? They look like that, like, acidic sludgy water. Somehow solidified and rolled up into mats. Like sludgy astroturf. Oh, another one. Ah, stool. Do I need that for anything? Oh, I could probably use it to get up there. No, not high enough. Hmm. I feel like there might be something up there. I don't suppose I can place the stool on top of this pile of stuff over here? Because you can't jump while you're holding it or anything. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, probably not a vacant. Oh! Okay, that works. I don't think that'll be enough, though. Nah. Let's get a stick out so I can distract him. Did you hear it? Please tell me- Oh no, you didn't hear it! I wonder what they would do if I locked them on this side. Do you think they'd like pathfind all the way around? Hehehehe. <laughs> Ooh. What's that? Oh. Noggin top mushroom. That's new. Weeping widow mushroom. Hmm. I feel like those are special, used for some recipe, but anyway, the thing I was wondering about is this. It looks like it's already burning, but let me try to use this flint and steel on it. Okay, yeah. It's like a contraption there. I might be able to do something with it. You're a tough one to get past. Oh, that didn't work. Oh. Is this working? <laughs> oh, it actually did work. Alright.
Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So what? Oh. Dang it. What caused this thing to close? Oof. I think I just need to take this guard out, at least temporarily. Let's do that. Somebody must have flipped a lever or something. Need to get close enough. I can't, I don't think I can throw it during combat. So, let's throw a distraction first. Oh, I can't because they're wearing stuff on their feet. Hold on, I saw something. Checkpoint pass. Don't I have a checkpoint pass, though? Hmm. Maybe I should try somewhere else. I feel like this is the checkpoint I'm going to need to go through once I have the armor and everything. In which case, I can just breeze through this place and just walk through it once I've got the disguise. So, let's leave this for now. Lauren's in the trough. Hmm. Three-headed acorn. So I guess you probably can throw it during combat. It's just that they have, yeah, things on their feet that make it not an issue or something. I want that rose. I'm gonna come back down here in just a sec, yeah. As soon as I come back, I'm gonna just jump over. Oh, this must be the imprisoned mice that I need to talk to about the hammer. I think I'll be safe talking to them inside the jail cell. Based on where that guard is, I don't think they'll see me. They will see into that cell, though. <laughs> it's a mystery. Bless you. It's adorable little sneeze. What are you doing here, Mouse? You look lost. I'm searching for something. Can you help me? Have you talked to the smithy? Aye, I have. Did you ask him? He sees everything that goes on around here. But he also knows when to look the other way. And how to keep his mouth shut, too. Anyway, we're planning an escape. You want to come along? <laughs> They're so happy. Shh. What? What? You should come with us. You should come with us. The door was unlocked. Why are you still here? <laughs> These locks are easy to pick. We could just pop them right open. 
we need to gather supplies before we go. We won't get far without them. There's nothing but open moorland for hundreds of miles beyond these walls. Listen to her. She might be a criminal, but she's no liar. I am a liar. No, you're not. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Yeah, she? I thought... It was the, uh... Was it the blacks? I don't remember if it was the blacksmith or the frog that told us that there's no way that Mira is here because they don't keep they don't keep any does here. Only the bucks. Aye. What of it? Well, neither of these options explain what I'm why I'm really surprised. I just thought they didn't keep does here. Uh, just surprised? Why? I was told there was no female prisoners here. Somebody told you wrong then, didn't they? Did you want to come with us or not? Uh, tell me your plan. Well, wait. We don't know anything about him. He could be a spy for the commander. True. Or a very short rat. If you're going to come with us, you're going to have to prove we can trust you. What's your name, Mouse? Tilo. His name's Tilo. Wait, how did you know that? My Oma was a fate reader. It must be in the blood. Oh! Maybe I can use the fate cards with him? Oma. My share responsibility for raising their young with other members of their village. Oma literally means second mother in the mouse folk's tongue. If you're a reader, what am I thinking right now? That I should stop talking? Wow, she's good. We never reveal our true names to anybody, but you can call me Shadow Phoenix. And I'm Fatal. Don't give him your real name. Sorry, Gusto, I couldn't think of anything. <laughs> so, Gusto and Fatel. Ah. <sighs> Tell you what, Tilo. Show us your show us your our kind of mouse. Bring us a handkerchief off of a guard's belt. And we might let you tag along. You just need one? I have like six or something. I have something for you. You pull out the stolen handkerchief and offer it to the two thieves. Don't give it to me. You're the one who asked for a snot rag, Gusto. You take it. Fine, fine. Give it here. Happy now? He's done what you asked him to, Gusto. Let him come with us. Not yet. There are some supplies we'll need for the journey. Find them and you can join us. So wait, why don't you fetch them yourselves? The guards check in on us every so often. They'd notice we're gone. So this is about the guards in Dwindling Heights. Like the building itself, the guards of Dwindling Heights have seen better days. For members of the Rat Guard who have displeased the Baron in some way or another, patrolling the keep will be their final assignment and literally a dead end job. Okay, so we kind of saw part of that before. As a consequence, the rats rash stationed here are bitter, ill disciplined, and downright mean, prone to take out their frustration on any creature fool enough to get in their way, especially a mouse. Uh, you, though, they don't seem to have realized you've escaped. Probably because he's so dull. So, what is it you need? We've got a list. Bring each item to us as you find them. We'll stash them in the cell until we're ready to go. Uh, okay. Happy you just give me the list? If you get caught, we don't want to trace back to us. Oh, that's why they don't want me to have the list, okay? So they're just going to give me one item at a time? He's not very bright, is he? In return, we'll teach you some of the secrets of our craft. How to hone your senses, sharpen your skills, improve your stamina, and whatever. Okay. It'll make this all a lot easier. Alright, I'm in. Let's get to it. Alright, what's the first item you need? Once we're on the road, we'll need checkpoint passes. Ah, oh, we just saw where to get that. 
find us two. Three. Mm -mm, three. That's what I said. Yeah, I thought I already had one, which I do. It said I need three, and it said I have one out of three. Okay. Bless you. So yeah, that one I saw is probably just one. I doubt I'd be lucky enough to find both at, at one place. So what are you? A thief? A pickpocket? I'm a minstrel. A ludinist. Is it what? A ludinist. He worships Ludin. Ludin? We love Ludin too. Then I'm in good company. <laughs> this place is full of criminals. I heard you might know something about the smithy's missing hammer. Who told you that? The smithy himself? He, he knows we took it? Quiet! Aye, we might know more than something about that. Maybe we were planning to tunnel out of our old cell in the jail and into the sewers. We didn't get very far before they moved us here. We hid the hammer away, along with a few other things. We, you promised to bring back our stash. We'll tell you where it's hidden. Okay, where's the hammer? It's stashed in our old cell in the jail. Oh, that must be that one cell that I unlocked with the master jailer key. And it didn't seem to have anything in it. I thought it was, like, suspicious. There's two metal rings on the wall. They open a hidden nook we found down there. This place is full of secrets. You'll need this. Oh, there's a key, too. I drew you some instructions. Don't open it until you reach the jail. Okay. Why don't open it until I reach the jail? Bless you. I think I kind of saw it in the preview image. Bless you. Very sneezy. Uh, can I speak with them separately? I think so. Uh, looking for a guard's helmet. Uh, you mean like this one here? It's a good one. Just about your size. Oh, come on, give it to me, please. They're not easy to come by. What do you want for it? What can you trade for it? I have Florence? Florence? What good are Florence to us in here? Besides, we're mice of principle. Aye. We have a principle of never paying for anything. Do you write your own songs? Or just sing songs by other, more talented minstrels? Every minstrel writes their own songs. Why don't you write a ballad about us? Yes. The Ballad of Gusto and Fatale. It'll be good for our renown. I'll help. Uh, what rhyme scheme would you like to use? <laughs> rhyme scheme? Listen to the professor. Let's do it in couplets. Oh, looks like Fatale knows what they're talking about. How do you know what a couplet is? Knowing things isn't a crime, Gusto. If it was, you might actually know something. Follow me and do try and keep up. Renown 200 out of 200. Ooh, just like a minigame? May I present to you the greatest of crooks. Um, hmm. But you'll never have read about them in your books. Crooks books. Hmm. Brother and sister. They're siblings in crime. But they've never been caught and they've never done time. Fatal is Willy, or Wily, and brave to the end. But she's not someone on whom you'd ever depend. If Fatal's the brains, then Gusto is the muscle. They know how to rob, and they know how to hustle. At thieving and stealing and crime, they're the best. You want to try outsmarting them? Be my guest. They'll steal from you every last worldly possession. But leave you convinced it was at your suggestion. Now please check your pockets, cause for our finale. You've probably been robbed by Gusto and Fatale. Oh, well, to make that rhyme it must be Fatale and not Fatal or whatever. Fatale. <laughs> You're pretty good. 
All right, all right. You don't have to make a song and dance about it. Can you set it to music? Hmm. Music? Mm, I charge extra for the melody. But you can do it? I, for, uh, let's say, ten florins. Ten florins? That's robbery! Next time you need something, maybe we can come to an arrangement. Hmm. Okay, well I guess we get that for, for free. Here, the helmet's yours. Should buff up quite nice. See? We're mice of our word. <laughs> There's a first time for everything. Hmm, so why aren't you being... well... Actually, yeah, why aren't they being held in the main jail? We were moved here from the jail a few days back. Maybe they're getting ready to set us free. Or hang us. Okay, anything different when I talk to you? No, so it's just, yeah, you kind of talk to both of them at the same point. At the same time. <laughs> this game is so cool. Oh, I can't wait to get into all sorts of mousy adventures. Alright, well I think this is a pretty good place to end this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, I think I want to do the go back to the jail cells quest right now and try to find the blacksmith's hammer.